everybody, it's Julie, and I am here with the next installment of the May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge. We are going to make our Double Tuck Ensemble with three cards. Yes, I did forget. We are supposed to use a flower, stamping, and book page. And you'll see I go through all this, and at the end I'm like, oh my gosh. So we do add these... <laughs> And yeah, I don't know if that happens to you when you're doing these challenges, but sometimes I forget that I'm supposed to be using specific things. So that's two days in a row. Sorry about that, but I do add them and it turns out amazing. So thank you for being here. Um, you probably know that I do not have my pages made or put in the signature yet. But one of the things that I am going to add is these pages made out of, um, it's wrapping paper. So I have a piece of the wrapping paper here. So we're going to go ahead and, and get this made and it'll be ready to go into the journal. So I have this one and this is the right size right here and so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a measurement in the right direction I have stamps on the table because <laughs> I'm doing about 20 things all at one right after at the other okay so if I cut that just a little bit bigger than that one we will be fine I don't need to actually measure and so actually if we cut it the same size or pretty close just like that that'll give me one for each signature okay so um so that gives me a page for each signature and again it's just some um wrapping paper it's a great color it's folded wrapping paper and i'm going to go ahead and use this one right here so I have this envelope that I'm going to go ahead and be using and I know we're going to shock everybody and we are going to distress. If you, if you don't know, I, I don't do a lot of distressing, but this, this journal really just seemed to, to need it or want it. And so I'm just going to calm down the peachy pinkness of this envelope, 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 okay. And also the flap. So if you're new to the Dear Julie Julie channel, you might not have ever heard of a double tuck. Double tuck is one of my favorite things that, that I like to make and add to a journal. And it is utilizing the envelope flap as a place for to add pockets. And so, and then an ensemble will have three cards. You'll have one for inside the envelope and two that are going to fit in the little pockets that we are going to make over on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this okay and we'll go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and decide whether i want my envelope to be on this side or if i want my flap I kind of like the idea of my flap on this side, on this particular one. And then we can add other um, stuff to the stuff. We can add other things to this page to, um, to make it not so stark white. Okay, so we are gonna use our Mono Tombow liquid glue and we are gonna go ahead in our envelope, grab the gobbledygook, um, grab our envelope and come across. 
Okay, crossed, crossed. And then we're going to go down the center of the flap with our glue. So just up and down and across right there. Then we're going to take, make sure that this is open. And we're going to just put this right up against our paper. Okay. All the way across the envelope and then put it down. Okay. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and pull this up and make sure that we didn't have glue come across, and we did. So we're going to just clean up that glue. The Mono Tombow will um, ball up and clean up pretty, pretty, pretty well. But make sure that you stay... <laughs> Okay, so now we have this flap right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover that. And we're going to use this right here. And of course, that means I'm going to give myself another pocket. And that's okay because I like pockets and I cannot lie. <laughs> I know, I really, I do like pockets. And if there's a place to put a pocket, I'm probably going to do it. And... So, let's go ahead and clean that up. We'll go around this in a U. And this, we're going to go ahead and close off the opening of this pocket right here, just so you don't see it. Okay. And put that down. You want to kind of leave the gutter so that it will still close. Okay, so you see this little gutter right here? Now, it is shiny paper, so we are going to have to tell it who's the boss, who's the boss, and um, hold it down. Okay, so that's, that's what's going on there. Okay, that's going to give me an extra card or something that I'm going to have to make to go in this. Now the one thing, um, you can use some of your other items that you've made to go ahead and put in this. You can go ahead and slice your envelope here and have a card go in or you can slice it here and have a card go in the top. Either way for your um, third, your third card. Okay. So, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking that I can go ahead and do something where this is going to still, this is going to show, okay? And I did have a little bit of a mess up here, so I'm going to clean that up a little, go around it. I do like to rip Things, I find it to be more um, forgiving when you're looking at it as to whether it's straight or not. If you rip it and it's crooked, <laughs> it's not as noticeable than if you cut it and it's crooked. Okay, so there's that. And let's go ahead and... find something that we can put there. So actually one of these file pieces would fit that way. If we cut this down it will fit this way. Kind of like the idea. Actually we'll put that one. We're going to make that and it's going to go there. <laughs> and let's find something else. for the other spot. Okay. Okay, we have a good amount of space here, so I'm going to go ahead and I want to use up that whole little piece of space. 
I'm going to go ahead and trim this scrap piece down. So you can always find me using scraps um, on my channel. Always. Pretty much always. I am at, I'm working with scraps. I don't always put that down in the label on the... I found these pieces in my stash and I was like, oh my gosh, those will match. So, um, I have to decide. I don't want, I don't think I want it on this side because it distracts from, from that. Okay, so I can just go ahead and glue this piece. So we're going to make three journaling cards for this ensemble and then this page will be ready to go into the journal. Um, I, I'm ready to do the pages, I just didn't have time to do a page. The pages video will take longer than this video so it's like I, I need to get I need to get it done, so we'll do it. We'll do it this way. I hope. I hope you're enjoying this um, series, and um, yeah. So there's that. Okay. Now during the premiere yesterday I was here making um, stamps and what I did was I just went ahead and I cut I stamped some things and then I also stamped some of these ladies here and I thought oh well we can go ahead and turn them into postage stamps if we want to and so I was just trying to clean up some of the things that were around my desk. And I want to make sure, I mean, that we're using the things that we have. So that can go and go right on there. So this is part of the 1919 French Fashionista digital kit from Dear Julie Julie available at my Etsy shop. All of the digitals are 50% off while we're home. So, okay, so that, I'm going to consider that my, the first card, and um, you can add lines to it if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as it is, and that will be card number one. So card number two, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, use this and let's see I happen to have a scrap of some lined paper and of course I'm going to turn it into a pocket I say of course because if it can be a pocket I'm probably going to turn it into a pocket okay I'm going to if this is like that I'm going to put it like this okay so that becomes a pocket and I can fill it or not that's the cool thing you don't have to fill all your pockets <laughs> right okay so we have some amazing washi tape that we've been using I'm gonna go ahead and just Add this Eiffel Tower. Should I add it there? If I add it here, it doesn't take away any of the line space, but I really like the way it looked over here better. So, so looks wins. <laughs> looks wins. Looks win that time. Okay, so another thing I have is I have some of the pieces from making this journal and I do want to be using 
This is from making the cover. I'm going to go ahead and attach that behind the Yeah, like this. I'm going to attach it behind that with some gold staples. Okay, so it's attached. Okay, and now we're going to want to decorate the front of this. So I do have, I have a couple of stamps that um, I purchased on, on, um, in a Facebook group actually, <laughs> quite a while ago, I've never gotten to use them. So we are going to go ahead and use these, if I can find a... My larger <laughs> larger stamp blocks. I don't know where they are. Well, this one's <laughs> this is as big as I'm gonna get, I think. Okay, so I'm going to want to put this on to we'll put it on to this okay right nope it won't fit on there and it's not gonna it's not gonna stick okay usually do things like this but I can't I don't know where my large blocks are you guys oh now I see the really large block so maybe there we, I moved things around <laughs> anybody else do that move things around then you can't find no I don't want it on there <laughs> it's like no 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 There. Because it's already a tag. It's got the, the whole place and everything. There we go. Okay, so we'll let that dry. We'll move that over there. And we'll be cutting that out and sticking it in there, I think. So we are going to need a... Something on top there. So what do we have? Well, we have this too. We have all these, like I said, these were in my stash. A whole bunch of these. Oh, you know what? We have this, this piece. It's a little too, a little too red. Okay, well, I know we're going to use this in the pages and so how wide are our pages? Let's go ahead and pull out. Pages are just under 12 inches. So basically there's going to be no scrap from this because I'm going to make a pocket out of that. So can't really use that. Sorry about that. Um, Aha! When all else fails, pull out, <laughs> pull out one of the ladies, right? 
Okay, so let's pull out her. She's a, she's from one of the advertisements. And, um, but I think she's really cool. And so let's go ahead and we'll use her. Okay, and we'll make a belly band. And I wonder if we can get her up underneath this staple. There, yeah, okay, I like that. Up underneath the staple, go ahead and put some glue along, put some glue on the back of her, like that, okay? And then come down here, put the glue along, and at the edge, and at the edge. Okay. There's that. Turn it over. Cut that off. And this is going to be a belly band. Okay. Or it could be a pocket, and the way that we can make it a pocket is we can do a stack pocket here. Okay, so. And this is just how I do things. And, it, and it's probably how you do things when you're just creating and um, you know that, that you change your mind and something else comes up and you go, oh, I think I should use that. And um, yeah, just like that, I, I like that. Now what's gonna happen is, guess what? I'm gonna build another pocket. Cause I'm gonna put this on. It'll be over the top of this one, but it's also gonna give us another place. So, um, you know, you could put something in here, in here, and something in here. Okay. And that's gonna go right in there, and I love it. Okay, I love it, I love it, I love it, love it. Okay, so I have this purse <laughs> that I've been <laughs> been hanging on to, and um, you know what? Let's go ahead and cut this out. Because this is the tag that's gonna go inside. I'm just going to fussy cut around the outside of this. And hooray, I finally used, finally used this stamp set. One of the stamps. There's, there's three stamps. There's a, like a recipe stamp, I think. And then there's one that has a dress form, and we'll be using that somewhere in here also. Okay, so this can go right in here. We can go ahead and punch our hole in it. Just using our regular hole punch. Again, I moved things around, so it took me to grab the... There we go. And... We can add so from the cover I have this this is the fiber that is coming out of the cover okay and so I think if we grab a couple pieces of it just like this cut it and just thread it through. Again, using every, <laughs> all the little things that are on your desk <laughs> from all the parts of the journal, which includes the fibers from fraying the cover. And that little corner that we put up there, that was the cutoff from the cover. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm a 
is not working. Dum thumb. We'll do this again. We'll do it one more time, and if it doesn't work, then I have another piece that we can. And it's not. It's only not working because my thumb is not. It wasn't grabbing. Okay, we we grabbed. Very good. Good thumb. Okay, so we have been using the chalks and the um, eyeshadows to paint to color in. I'm just gonna quickly color this. We've got some green. This eyeshadow is from Dollar Tree, LA Colors from Dollar Tree. And I am using the eyeshadow brush. You can also use Q-tip, or if you have a set of makeup brushes, you're welcome to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and color them blue because that's what we've been doing in this journal is coloring things um, blue because one of our colored photos, the, um, the model is wearing blue. So, okay, and then we'll go ahead and grab some of this. And just come in from the two sides. Give it some of the this color. Okay. There. Whoop, I want to keep my brush in there. And then. Go ahead, hello Missy Desk, and just distress it a little. Try and get some of that stark white out of there. And the back, you know, just in case somebody actually pulls it out and looks at it. <laughs> okay, so there is our card for this. So we need one more card. Okay. Whoop, we don't don't need all that. <laughs> okay, and you can decorate this area also if you want to. And so we need one card for this also. And for that one, I'm going to go ahead and let's go shopping in our box. Because you can use items that you made and put them in other places. Okay? So if we have a card in here... And it can even be, it can even be, you know, like our, it can be any card. Okay, but I think we should go back into the things that we made during the, the class. So, do we have one of these that's smaller? Or one of our clusters. Let's see. Okay. So this has a pocket. That might be kind of pretty on our page here. Kind of like that. Or maybe one of those. So the very bottom of this is are the things that we made in the um, party for the March. The, for those that finished their March journals. 
um, at the VIP, we made embellishments. That was the consensus is that people wanted to make embellishments. So we made we made these, and I think we can go ahead and put one of these on on this pocket. I think I think her. Okay, I think she can go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue her down right here. And, okay, so she's right there. And down here at the bottom. And we'll make her be like a belly band. Whether we use her as a belly band or not, I don't know, but... But there we have one of our beautiful paper dolls made up and she can be our decoration. Okay. And then let's see. my box there. Um, oh, I put it away. <laughs> ah. So these are all the embellishments that we've made. I'm going to go ahead and use this one as the Card number three. Now you can put something in here, and that would actually be a great. I like that. I like that. Okay. Um, like, I like that a lot. So that's going to go there. So, and we're going to want to eventually make something for there. And so for right now, I'm going to put that one as our third and it's going to go in here but I really think I'm going to want it here and I'll make something else to go inside here okay so that is our double tuck ensemble um, I do think I want to to decorate this a little more Um, okay, so if I put this, this is one of the parts of an embellishment that we made. Let me go ahead and I made a whole bunch of extra sewn pieces because I was at the sewing machine that day. I'm just going to go ahead and attach that there. It will hold this, and but this is a little bigger, taller, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this up. It will have a little pocket on the bottom. And again, just using the scraps, <laughs> which this was, I mean, this is part of the digital kit printed on parchment paper. I can put her right in there. I can go ahead and add the holes. Add the hole to this one. I think we want a smaller hole. Of course, I might not be able to see to put the stuff in it. Okay, so I'm using the crocodile, which has the smaller hole. And let's see. There's this piece of the frayed stuff. I don't know if I can get it through there. 
So again, using all your scraps. <laughs> okay, bring that up. Tiny attacher. Which is just, it's the Tim Holtz tiny stapler. There we go. And there we go. And then, um, let's see, we can go ahead and we can make a little thing that will go in back here. Because you have it, you might as well use it. And we have this scrap. Okay, that should fit into our little hole right here. Okay, and it will. And we happen to have these girls that, um, so we haven't used her on this side. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll cut her out. I, I glued all, cut these all out and glued them onto things during, um, and we're going to put her on the front. Okay, just put her here on the front. So this is our double tuck ensemble. And our double tuck ensemble, oops, <laughs> needed a book page flower and stamping so we need we still need a book page well we do technically see i'm i'm getting tired too too many videos getting tired so we do have our flower on that um but we'll go ahead and add a flower and we'll make something out of a book page we're good we're, we're going to be just fine here <laughs> except i've got to get the glue off here see. We'll just use the glue, right? Okay, we'll stick our little note paper onto this. Oh my goodness gracious. go and this is going in here okay so that gives us that so we need to have a flower and I happen to have this flower here because our flower for this needs to be different and I'm going to put it right here on this edge So there's our flower. We're going to add some fabric tack here. There we go. And in the center, we're going to want some bling. Just grab a bling from here. My favorite bling. Okay. Okay. There's our flower. We did our stamping here. Okay, so flower, stamping, and we need a book page. So we still need something for this little pocket right here so i'm gonna show you we're gonna go ahead and pull out a piece of the 
the book that we're using. We'll go ahead and fold it into my favorite, favorite thing, which is a book page pocket. That is my favorite way to use book page. We'll go ahead, fold, go here, come across, and across. Okay. Close the long page, close the short page. Oops. Oh well. I did that backwards. <laughs> close the short page, close the long page. Somebody asked if I ever sleep. I, I don't think I'm getting enough sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm just making stuff, forgetting all about that I have things I have to use. We're going to go ahead and cut this down so it'll fit in that pocket. Okay, so this is going to fit into that pocket. We're going to want to go ahead and make it kind of cool. So I have this quote. When all else fails, accessorize. So we are gonna go ahead and use that. It is stamped also. See, I had the stuff ready. I stamped stuff so I'd have it. Then I forgot, I forgot to use it. Kinda like the collage page. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so then I have my little stamp over here of her. We'll go ahead and grab those postal scissors again and turn her into a postage stamp. I think the, the postal scissors are a great addition to have in your stash. I do want to use um, some of the washi tape here. So I'm going to take the, the postage Let's go ahead and glue this on. Okay, gluing it on. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and add this. This is from our washi tape. Love it. Then we're going to add my favorite stamp so we're stamping again so look at we're, we're we're doing just fine <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and cancel her there she goes she's been canceled she's been stamped okay we're gonna put this up where the um where the address label would go. Okay, just like that. And then we have our cute little, oh no, where'd it go? Oh, good. <laughs> like our cute little, where'd it go? Our little gold purse. And I'm gonna just add the glue to the top of the purse so that it can kind of, it, it might hang over that pocket, which I think will be kind of cool. Okay, so we have our book page, our flower, our stamping, and um, here we go. Let's put one of these. We've, been, we've used these a couple times in this journal. So we'll just go ahead, tear the butterfly off because we don't need that. Fold it in half and then cut it down. Cut it down. Okay. Oh yeah, pocket ended up smaller than we were 
planning, but it's okay. Okay, we'll just cut it a little more. Anybody else have this kind of stuff happen? <laughs> and it's a floating pocket. We can, you don't have to put your thing all the way inside. You can actually have whatever you're putting in can hang out the outside of your pocket as well. And that will fit right in there. Okay. So that is our double tech. We have another flower there. I love this right here. I think that's, uh, I really like that touch. Um, we can come back in and add something cool there because that was extra. Okay, so we have our double tech ensemble with three cards. We used our book page, book page, right here, book page, our flower, and stamping. We stamped here, and we stamped here, and we stamped here. We have our three cards, so we actually have more than that. So we have this one here, this one here, and we have these two here. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll join us on weekdays at 10.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time and 4 o'clock. 10.30 is the challenge videos. 4 o'clock will be our beginner series. We're working on the Reader's Digest journal in the beginner series. We'd love to have you. If you want more information on the May Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge, the details video is in the description box down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that YouTube will tell you when, we, when a video comes up. But just in case we have that schedule. And also, do check out these videos here because if you go watch another video after this one, YouTube really likes that and it really helps my channel. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.